Hi guys. Um, so I just want to talk about the things that are going on in my head today. <laughs> I'm going to title this a what I learned today video, but I didn't actually learn this today, but I'm kind of thinking on it today. And so I'm going to finally post it because I've been wanting to talk about it for a while and I just haven't sat down and done it. I am kind of cleaning things out in my room today. I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff, so that's why there's a bunch of stuff behind me. So I have been feeling kind of um, heavy hearted and a bit frustrated lately and serious. Like I've been trying very hard to laugh more like in this last week and to uh, bring back that childlike, you know, uh, lighthearted energy into my life because I I find it and then I lose it and then I find it and then I lose it and I find myself getting caught in these times of uh, just feeling really serious and like stressed out and I have to be very careful about what I put in my brain, like what I'm watching, what I'm reading, what I'm talking about, who I'm hanging out with. I have to be very careful with stuff like that because I can very easily go on a downward spiral in my mind. And you know, I should, you know, maybe be strong enough to handle certain things like that, but I'm working on it and being someone that is an addict and that has anxiety, PTSD, depression, things like that, I figure it's better to not be hard on myself and tell myself that I should be able to handle this stuff. And I'm saying this to hopefully help some of you guys that are struggling out there. But how about just don't expose yourself to those things that make you feel like that? You know? And I'm not saying like avoid everything that maybe stresses you out or that's scary or anything like that. but. I feel like you should monitor what you're putting in your mind and in your body and what you're putting yourself into, what situations you're putting yourself into on a regular basis and ask yourself if some of these things, if you change some of these things, if it would make you feel better. So the point of this is like, so I was kind of talking to myself like I do sometimes, <laughs> trying to figure out like you know what I could what I could do better what what I've been what what part I've been playing in my feeling this way that I could change to make myself feel better and I was thinking about the things that I have been talking about or that I've been reading or listening to or um, watching and I started to realize, it actually clicked in my brain when I was over at my grandparents' house and they were watching The Big Bang Theory and I was laughing because it's funny, I love that show, and I had this realization that, oh, I haven't really watched anything funny in a while. I've been like watching these shows on Netflix like Heroes and uh, Jessica Jones, like I don't know, I'm into all these like magic or hero or like anything supernatural like stuff like that I get into those kind of shows and so uh, I've been watching stuff like that and those can be kind of serious because I mean they're usually dealing with like mind control and like there's usually an evil bad guy that they're fighting or like a cause that they're fighting for or, like trying to save the world or like it's all this like heavy stuff that I feel like uh, someone that's trying to be a source of light in the world can, can it can take it can can weigh down on you because sometimes it like when you're dealing with trying to help people with like weight loss and their mental health and like trying to because I mean I, not only am I a health and wellness coach but I'm also going to school to be a doctor and so these things these helping careers I feel like sometimes it's easy to take on the weight of the world or to take on the weight of everybody else's problems because you want to help them and you want to like you want so badly to be able to fix their problems for them but you can't and so I feel like you know, in combination with absorbing that kind of stuff into my mind and then also um, with what I'm doing in the world, it's easy to take on this whole heavy burden of, of I have this big responsibility to, to do all this stuff and to help all these people when I, <laughs> I am my own only responsibility is my, my own self and, and taking care of my own self and everybody else is their own responsibility. But I do believe that we should help each other and so I kind of put all that together 
and realized that I needed to bring some more lighthearted, funny things back into my life. And just within like a day, I'm like already feeling like significantly happier. Like I wasn't watching my YouTube videos that I watch sometimes. Like I've been busy. So I've just, you know, I've been working, I've been doing homework. Uh, I've, I've, <laughs> I've been working, I've been doing homework. That's that's what I've been doing. And so in the meantime, I should probably be feeling, in the middle time, in those spaces in between, I should probably be filling myself with things that feel good and that are happy so that I will feel better. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys so that you can look at it in your own life and say, what am I consuming? What, what am I looking at, listening to, reading, whatever that is affecting me negatively? Who am I hanging out with? What conversations am I having? And then you, you tr once you realize that something that you do on a regular basis that you have control over is affecting your well-being then you can change it and you can stop doing that and um, I mean maybe it takes a few tries but once you have realized it it becomes a lot easier to fix it and so really the whole point of this video was to kind of talk about something that I learned in my human anatomy and physiology class last term was that and I post about this all the time about what you share on social media and how you should, you know, we should be careful. And we all do it. We all make mistakes. But um, I feel like we should be careful about the things that we're sharing and not, you know, constantly focusing on the problem and the drama of life, but offering solutions and positivity and being a light in this world. And so, you know, I get upset when everyone posts all the different animal abuse videos or child abuse videos or some of the ones that don't really offer a solution but only focus on the problem and that leave you feeling like like dark in your heart and like the world is a a, a mean dark place um those are the videos I don't like because I feel like if we're gonna have to see some sort of image of violence or something like that, that we should at least be offered a solution, something that we can do or something that um, is that other people are doing to help uplift this, you know. I don't wanna just see animal abuse uh, videos. I wanna see, if you're gonna post something like that, I wanna see some sort of action step, some sort of call to action that somebody can take to help change that. Or I want to see like somebody, re like I like the ones where you see the animals that are like abused and like malnourished and they were treated horribly and then someone comes in and like nurses them back to health and it, and then they, you see them at the end and they're just like these full, happy, healthy animals and it's like, oh, see, there is good in the world. This is, and it also shows you what can be done in a situation like that to help the situation. You see what I'm saying? Like you're sharing the solution, you're not just sharing the problem. And I think that it's important to do that because when we're constantly seeing these images of violence or of hate or of just all the negative shit in the world, like it, it stresses you out, it makes you feel like the world is a dark, horrible place, it makes you feel hopeless, it just, when you when you are seeing it on a consistent basis, it, it, it has an effect on you and it leaves a mark in your mind and in your heart. And so, I don't like when people share stuff like that, and I try really hard not to share stuff like that. I try to make sure that I, I don't do that because I know that, I mean, I have. Um, we all have. So then I had a class where we were talking about how images of like violence and, and um, negativity and things, when you see them, and this is a study, a few studies that were done. It activates the amygdala in your brain and the fear response, the fear, anxiety, stress response, okay? So you're activating this fight or flight thing in your head and, um, and anger and, you know, rage. These are all things that, that are coming from the amygdala, okay? And then it says that when you see images of, like, love and, say, like, cuddly animals or things that make you feel happy, it releases oxytocin, which calms the amygdala. And so it is a very real, like, scientific thing. When you are seeing something or reading something or hearing something of, of violence or negativity or darkness, um, it is activating the part of your brain that controls anger and fear, okay? And so if you're doing that on a regular basis, those are the things that you're constantly releasing into your brain. Whereas if you're constantly absorbing things of love and light and happiness and, and um, people getting along, people banding together to do something in this world, you know, all the good stuff, then you're constantly releasing those feel-good hormones which are going to calm your stress and make you feel happier and feel better. So it's like 
what you consume and what you listen to actually it's a biochemical thing in your brain in your body that is happening it's a very real thing and so you have to watch what is coming in through your senses because it affects your brain it affects your body it affects what hormones are being released um, and how you feel and so I just kind of wanted to share that because I I often catch myself consuming material that is less than positive and it's hard not to in the world that we live in because there are so many things going on right now that are just you know really serious uh, heartbreaking things you know we have natural disasters we have uh, you know global warming we have pollution we have you know corruption in our government we have like all this stuff happening right now that is just like crazy overwhelming and we're I mean anyone that cares and anyone that's paying attention I feel like we're all feeling like oh my god what the fuck like what can we what do we do how do we fix this where do we start and we can just feel, it can feel very overwhelming and I often find myself feeling lost, like, am I doing enough? What do I need to do? Like, how do I, how do I do my part in all of this? And, and, you know, this is my planet, this is my home where I'm, I'm living right now in this body, in this life. And so I feel like I have to be, take part in helping it because there are so many things going on right now that are harming our planet and the people on it. And so I often, I don't remember where I was going with that, but I think I'm on the right track. Um, I often find myself in this place feeling kind of like heavy and, um, and lost and it's hard not to when we're seeing all this stuff on, you know, on the internet, on the TV, in the newspapers and people are talking about it and all, there's all this stuff happening. And so I feel like we have to find some sort of balance in, in staying informed as to what's going on, but also, I don't want to say like staying in our own little bubble, but I feel like on some level you, you kind of have to do that just to stay sane. You kind of have to have moments of just like living in your own little world, you know, so that, so that we can survive and not be miserable all the time because the world really needs more love and laughter and, and light in it. And we can't produce that if we're constantly in this serious mode of, you know, what do we do? The world's falling apart, everything is like, you know, um, if we're constantly worried about the, everything that's happening and, and, and what we need to do, you know, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm not saying the right words, but I'm trying to express this, you know, this thought and this idea. And I just want people to kind of just monitor and watch and be mindful of what we're, you know, what we're absorbing into our body, what we're eating, what we're looking at, what we're watching, who we're hanging out with, um, just all the th things that are influencing us on a regular basis, especially the things that we have control over and that we can change, you know? Because sometimes I feel like we, we just catch ourselves in these cycles of feeling this way and feeling this way and why do I feel this way? Why, this, why do I feel this way? And sometimes it's not even a matter of pinpointing the exact cause, but just eliminating factors from your life that make you feel like crap, you know? Anything that brings down your spirit or that makes you not feel so good has to go. It just has to go. Whether it's a person or a thing or whatever it is, it, it has to go and it's not always easy, but the relief that comes after going through that process, which is it's an ongoing process for the rest of our lives of ridding ourselves of this stuff, um, it's so relieving you know it's so relieving so I I find myself in the last few months very heavily in this mode of of getting rid of stuff uh, letting go of things and cleaning out everything you know my, my room my house getting rid of everything that I don't use or that I don't absolutely love my closet was getting a little full which is <laughs> awesome I've always wanted you know, a big closet with, you know, lots of clothes and shoes and stuff like that because I didn't have that growing up. And so now my closet's overflowing and I've had this thing where I didn't want to let go of anything because like this is something I've never had before. But now I'm realizing that I am going to be taken care of and that I can let go of things if you're not wearing it like more clothes will come into your life, so get rid of it so that you can make room for more, you know, later, for better. 
later. That's the thing is that this isn't just about clothes. This is about people. This is about habits. This is about if you rid yourself of these things, you're making room for better to come in. And sometimes better can't come in until we get rid of the stuff in our life that's just, you know, okay or bringing us down. Like we're so scared to let go of things sometimes. And I'm realizing that the more I let go of the things that I, I don't want to let go of, but that I know I need to, when I actively do that on a regular basis, uh, I have noticed that more better things usually come in as a result of having let go of that and the relief that comes from it. And so it's important to really make sure that your surroundings are just filled with with things that make you feel good and anything that makes you feel less than good should go and you should get rid of it and and then when you look around your room like now even though it's kind of a mess right now because I'm still in the process of doing this I look around in my room and it just feels so much better because I've gotten rid of all the extra stuff that I was just hanging on to just in case I might need it one day or the things that I just kind of like or you know I don't I'm not in love with it now when I look around my room I see a lot more of things that I just really love and a lot less of things that bring back bad memories or a bad time in my life or anything like that. And so it's less cluttered, it's more open and full of things that I love and that feels good. And so you should treat your whole life like that. Just fill it with things that you love and that make you happy and then you'll be surprised at how much better it feels. And be careful about what you're watching on TV and what you're reading about because it, it plays a very, very big part in our mental health. It really does. By all means, stay informed and stay active and, and, you know, try to help wherever you can, but we can't take on the stress of the world, the weight of the world. We just can't do it because then we're useless and we can't help anybody, including ourselves. So, um, I don't know, this video is getting kind of long, but I just want to share that with you guys. I hope that it's helpful. I want all of you guys to be happy and lighthearted and feel good, um, eat good food have good conversation, watch funny things, read funny things, laugh more, love more. <sighs> That's what I want. So I hope you guys are all doing that today. I'm going to keep cleaning out my, I think I have something in my eye. <laughs> I'm going to keep cleaning out my, my stuff. So I'll talk to you later. Uh, I'm going to be upset if I watch this video back and the whole time there's like, something in my eyeball. Uh. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>